What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Captain America Sentinel of Liberty issue number 13. This will be part 5 of Cold War. And in the last issue what we saw is Sam Wilson beating the bricks off of Captain America. With Sam winning the fight and returning back to Sharon and Misty. He did so just in time for White Wolf to send more monsters after them. With them down a team member, their odds are not looking good. And with Bucky trying to maintain any kind of control he can over White Wolf, he notices that this control is slipping, that White Wolf is starting to do his own thing. And so all the plans he has to take down the circle, they are in jeopardy. Now, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, Let's dive into this breakdown! Alright gang, so as we pick up with White Wolf and Bucky, they are watching the radar as the three heroes get completely surrounded. He is letting Bucky know that the captain is gone, and so while he sends his monsters in, Bucky's letting him know with all due respect, what you have, your forces, they're not enough to take on Sam Wilson, that you need to send everything. Because while you sit here and believe that Steve Rogers is dead, that would be a mistake. Now Bucky's not keeping any secrets from him, he just knows Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers isn't a beast, he's not a man either. Steve Rogers is a mission, and for him, the mission never ends. So many times Bucky had thought that they were done for. Some general or commander sending them into a pocket of hell with no intention of them ever returning. No matter the danger, the violence, Captain America never stopped. And there has only ever been one reason that he survives. That is his son. Now we all know that Captain America fights for his country. Fights for the hope and the people's ideals. But like the White Wolf had said, hope fails. Countries crumble. Ideals fade. The future kills the past. But Steve Rogers is much more than Captain America. He is a man with a family. A family he loves more than anything else. And if that family is in danger, he will do whatever is necessary to win the fight. This is where Captain America makes his way to Sam and the others, moving at ridiculously fast speeds. He has created an avalanche, as Sam tells the others to prepare for the avalanche incoming. We see Captain America jump into the air and grab hold of Sam, the avalanche taking out all of their enemies. Him and Sam stand toe to toe, and Captain America apologizes. He tells Sam that you are right, they have his son, and right now he is scared, he is angry, and he is letting all of this blind him. He tells Sam that he won't ever take him for granted again. The next time Sam has something to say, he will hear him out. With our team now coming back together, they get ready to complete the mission. To save their friend. Picking back up with the White Wolf. He has listened to Bucky say that Captain America is not stopping and he never stops. That he is unstoppable. But finding it odd that if you think so highly of him, why are you on our side? But Bucky knows that playing Captain America's way, he can't win the game. With White Wolf sniffing the air, he knows that Bucky is lying. He knows that there is much more to this. As he walks out of the room, Bucky finds both Natasha and Peggy. Surprised that the two of them have yet to kill each other. Both of them being very stubborn, they've settled on a staring contest. The spite of it keeping them both going. But we see the revolution calling the circle both power and money to the table. He did this so he could watch them sweat. Now they see him coming off as cocky and arrogant. Bucky letting them know that everything they have done since the Century game started, it has all been in pursuit of Naganite. A weapon for the power, a resource for the money, a tool for the machine. And now Bucky controls the worldwide supply. And while they propose maybe making a deal, Bucky has no intention of a deal until he has secured his investment. And they tell him that he is making the same mistakes as the revolution before him. Making dangerous allies, trusting his pet star points, and worst of all, he's playing with Captain America. And they wonder which one of his old friends is going to put a bullet into his head. 
As Bucky takes this information in and he goes to think about it, we see Peggy and Black Widow having a conversation. And Natasha is letting her know that he's gonna get you killed. But the way she sees it, it's better to be dead than under the control of the circle. She has been used as a rogue agent for so long. She has been used as a weapon. And she refuses to let it go on any longer. No matter the outcome, all of this is going to end. Because the truth is, when Bucky came to her with this plan, when he first said the truth about this world, she beat him half to death with a roulette wheel. She had the century. She had the Daughters of Liberty, her sisters. She had power and real power. But the Outer Circle had tricked her into their little game. And she wasted it all. And so now she wants to put things right. And while Natasha says that your intentions may have been good, but you took Captain America's son. The way Peggy sees it, she helped win a war, and Natasha can't even see the battlefields. As Captain America and them make their way to this compound, and the White Wolf knows that they are coming, that they will try to throw the Wolf King down. He can smell their fear. He can smell their lies. And so he opens up the portals worldwide, targets every single city without a hero. He instructs all genetic facilities to begin birthing procedures. They are gonna take the world for the glory of Dimension Z. And if they're gonna do this, they're gonna need a lot more wolves. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. A relatively good issue seeing Captain America come back into play, Bucky really does understand Cap in a way that a lot of people, they just don't get him. Like even the White Wolf sitting here thinking that Steve Rogers is dead. But Bucky knows that even when you believe that Steve is dead, he's usually not. Every single time he comes back, and he comes back with a vengeance. But Bucky is planning for Captain America to do exactly what Captain America does. He needs him to be Steve Rogers. He is banking everything on that one simple thing. But the end game is near. Bucky's plan is about to fully come into fruition. And while Steve Rogers, Sam Wilson, everybody else, they don't understand what's going on, they are about to. They are all about to fully understand what the Winter Soldier has been doing. How the Winter Soldier plans to end this war. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with Cold War. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel, but you're getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.